So in this video, we're going to talk about the Lewis structure for uh, BEF2. So we're going to talk about Lewis structure for BEF2. Actually, let's do BEF3 minus. How about that? How do you come up with Lewis structure for this? Well, uh, the first thing I like to do is write down my atoms and how many of them I have. So in this case, I have one beryllium and three fluorine we have to pay attention to this negative charge here this negative charge means that the overall ad, uh, overall charge of the molecule has gained one electrons so we're going to go to the periodic table and over on the left i see beryllium and everything beneath it and that should give that corresponds to two valence electrons er, with everything in that column again i've made several videos on this channel on this channel that kind of takes us to how we come up with the valence electrons we go to the right side of the periodic table, we see our halogens and everything beneath, beneath that will give me seven valence electrons. So in this case, I have seven valence electrons from fluorine and then I have two valence electrons from beryllium. So the total now that I have to place would be three times seven, that's 21, plus two, so that would be 23, plus I have a negative charge, which means that in chemistry we've gained one electron, so I have a total of 24 electrons in place. So usually in our Lewis structures, the central atom is usually the atom furthest to the left. This is not always the case, but again it's usually the atom furthest, uh, furthest to the left. Now, at this point, I could possibly go ahead and put my fluorines around the beryllium atom. Now because I have 24 electrons in place, I'm going to start I'm going to start at the simplest route by forming single bonds. So in this case I've used 24246. Two, so I've used 6 electrons out of 24 that I have to place. Now fluorine we know is a halogen and it's usually satisfied the octet rule. So in this case uh I have to fill the octets for fluorine. Now, interestingly, we're going to talk about something here, but fluorine is one of those atoms that, like we said before, has to satisfy the octet rule. So we need to form, need to find some way to form eight bonds. Oh, I'm sorry, not eight bonds, but get eight total valence electrons around fluorine. So let's look at this fluorine. I've, I've used three pairs of flown pairs and let's see if this works right so in most of the a lot of times when we're first drawing lower stretches more it's, it's kind of a field out kind of thing right so this becomes two four six eight so we know this fluorine is satisfied i could do the same thing to this fluorine and this becomes two four six eight so this fluorine is satisfied remember a single bond is consists of two electrons i could also do the same thing here and this fluorine is satisfied. So let's count how many electrons total we've used and see if that matches this. So this becomes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So the fluorine atoms are satisfied and the beryllium seems to be satisfied. Now, beryllium usually is consist of uh, two electrons right it has two valence electrons but in this but in this case it act is it, it's actually an ion right so we've gained an additional electron so that means that we could possibly form an extra bond so in this in some way in this um, formula we have an atom with a negative one formal charge now if you want to know what that formal charge is my formula says that I take the number of valence electrons, of the atom of interest of the atom, so whatever atom I'm looking at, so in this case, let's say fluorine, and I take that from, and I subtract that from the total electrons around the atom of interest, around atom, right? So around the atom of interest. Right, so you may have seen a different formula where one half bond in minus you know it's a complicated formula, but again, I'm pretty much just taking a shortcut, works the same way. So, if I want to look at this fluorine, this becomes I take fluorine valence electrons, which is seven, so I take seven minus the total 
number of electrons around fluorine with respect to its interest. So this is important. So we're not counting the double bond, but instead we're counting the one electron that's contributing from fluorine to the double bond. So this becomes two, four, six, seven. So seven minus seven is zero. And all these fluorines are within the same position. Now beryllium, interestingly, beryllium has two valence electrons. And we're going to subtract that from the total number of electrons around beryllium, right? That's contributing to the beryllium. So this becomes one from this one, one from this one, one from this one. So this becomes two minus three. And this is where we get our negative one charge from. So to get the full um, lowest structure, we must put it in parentheses. And this would be lowest structure for BF2, F3 minus 